Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, SliceOnBroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Hey guys, it's the Wrestling Mayhem Show. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Mayhem Studio in Pittsburgh, PA. Ready to talk pro wrestling with you guys, uh, hang out and uh, have a little bit of fun and a little later get Mayhem Mania on you as well. Uh, with me first, let's go remote. Let's see who's out there on the interwebs. Is it the Riz of the greater Monroeville area? Hello. I'm seriously like just 15 minutes away from you, Sorg. Like just now? <laughs> just a little bit ago? No, like now. Oh. Wait, no, I don't even... Like well, thirty minutes maybe, but I, I'm I'm not even going in my car. Well, as we map quest Riz's location, we know that Bobby of J Town is well, on the line with I us. Live. <laughs> I'm about an, I'm about an hour and a half away from everybody. Well, um, map quest will map quest get me lost coming out to Johnstown, PA. Bobby of J Town, well, just the us. water, just the yeah, water. Un- there you go. <laughs> oh, I'd like to make an apology. What to 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 certain individuals. Um, last time I was on the show, I, I said that um, the authors of pain were dangerous in the ring. I heartfeltly apologize for that because those guys kicked some ass on takeover, and I, I regret my decision. They're still no, babies. No, they're still they're still very dangerous in the ring. <laughs> that, that that was a hell of a match, though. But yeah, moving on. That was pretty great. Pretty great. We talked about that a little bit last week. And with us on the couch, first of all, Ring of Honor's top prospect tournament participant this weekend. Chris LaRusso returns to the show. How you doing, Chris? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me back on the show. We, and we had a great talk about um, how we that almost got leaked. Yes. And how, that, how, that almo- how that was almost, uh, how that all came crashing down before it even started. Yes, exactly. But, uh, <laughs> exactly. Before we almost had an exclusive that broke would have broken your career. Yes. But but thankfully, nobody was up on Sunday morning. No, 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 no. And Find yes. out more about that. The over... tree falls in the woods. Exactly. Uh, doesn't make a noise. <laughs> that's why we That's why we have wrestlers on at such odd times. In case they say something. <laughs> Completely. In case you get career-ending footage from a wrestler. <laughs> You can at least all right. Let, let's let's maybe. There's uh, a couple of things if you look through the archives that maybe shouldn't be out there. Uh, well, you'll, ha- you'll have not, to, not, you know, you'll have to go on the archives of the Mayhem Show and find out. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Who can you get some dirt on? And also with us, last but not least, Larry. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I, I figure I should batch the introduction. Are you watching? There you go. What are you watching? Oh, I'm. Uh, 205 Live. Oh, okay. This is the yeah. thing. So really he, he basically live. watches 205 Live during the show and kind of gives us a non-spoiler update of, hey, you should watch 205 Live. Just, well, he's just, wait a minute. He's just watching the show live and like barely paying attention to what's going on I'm in the studio. I'm paying attention to everything that's oh. going on. I have a headphone yep. in one ear and a headphone in the other. Look at him all the time. That sounds <laughs> maddening. And like, he does give us <laughs> check-ins okay for, yes. for, all right for Live. yeah we got a little bit of reaction we're like hey what's one voice going on one ear one voice in. oh my god that would drive me nuts oh that, that, how do you think how do you think i would you know you know how i'd roll for how many fair enough on fair live enough. streams come on there we um go. Oh, so how's 205 live going here about uh, uh 20 minutes in not bad uh the main event's uh, uh looking to be pretty good i okay. think we have a fatal five way uh, for the number oh, one right. number one uh contender right for the cruiserweight right. championship okay yeah, well king of the and, cruiserweights uh, yeah, for now. Um, but it's it's looking pretty good. Right now, uh, Brian Kendrick's in a match with uh, Lindsay Dorado. Ah. Oh, a super indie alum right there. Uh, so, anyways, we'll get into a lot of the wrestling talk in a moment. But first, in the meantime, please check us out at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You can subscribe to us on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio. Or over on um, um, the video versions on Facebook or the YouTube page, as well as a live stream here that we do every Tuesdays around 2 p.m. No, 10 p.m. Eastern time. There's a lot of things going on. I'm getting a little distracted. Uh, movements. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> live.wrestlingmayhemshow.com, 10 p.m. Eastern time every Tuesday, except for when we're going to change it here in the very near future. Um, what? I'll get to it. Uh, sorry, my producer was handing me a note. Uh, you can also drop us a line to Good Times. Good Times! Good Times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com or the 
the uh, the hotline at four one two two zero six WMS zero at Mayhem Show on the Twitters, and also uh, look for us on our friends the four hundred five media dot com. We are now seven days a week streaming, replaying the show, this very show at uh, nine p.m. Pacific time, seven days a week. The four hundred five media dot com. Keep an eye out for that. And thanks to our Patreon supporters. Um, of course, at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show, you guys can support the show, get some goodies along the way as well. Uh, our fans of the show at the dollar level, uh, Christopher Bishop, Bo Diggity. Whoa. Woo. He knows it. Ed Burke, <laughs> Ed Burke, the Matthew and Jennifer Carlin's Foundation for Podcast Betterment. And Down in front, smart marks. Trigar. <laughs> also, uh, new, new to the hockey club at the $5 level, getting the gold. And the state of the mayhem is Tina Keys, who we've been seeing in the chat a lot lately. Thank you so much for supporting the show. You can too, patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show, or just share the show, get the mayhem out there, and uh, and, and such. Me. Oh, Bobby F. Town. Well, you're not on my list, Bobby. What? Just You've got a Bobby hot mic. You could have piped in at any point during Bobby that. F. Yeah, Bobby F. Town, also supporting what? the show. Oh, and also a reminder. If you contribute to the Patreon, you have the option to join us in the Patreon of the Bank Round of Mayhem Mania, which uh, will be explained at some point later with uh, uh, Mainstream Matt. Um, you guys get a very, very special round. And members of the show typically pitch in for this to get some kind of extra benefit and hmm. edge in Mayhem Mania. So uh, that's. What's that? No, wait, no, not, not friends with benefits. No, no, no. no. Well, we're, we're, <laughs> <laughs> that's something yes. else. Mayhemers. The show has gotten a little more adult in the time between our last visit, hasn't it? <laughs> anyway, it's kind of coming back around, actually. Well, right yes, I remember the those. Yeah, I remember yeah, I mean, the, old we, days. We, we, the old days were pretty. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, so anyway, we got a great uh, guest here in Chris LaRusso joining us once again. We're several days out from Ring of Honor coming back here to Pittsburgh, of course. And you found yourself in the Top Prospects Tournament. Absolutely. I'm uh, very excited about this. Uh, it's uh, one of the biggest opportunities in my career. Um, Top Prospects Tournament is always uh, a great introduction of talent and uh, some fresh blood into Ring of Honor. Uh, a lot of people have taken uh, the top prospects and really used it to as a springboard for their careers. Um, we saw Punisher Martinez, uh, Leo Rush, uh, Dalton Castle. Dalton Castle's first appearance in Ring of Honor was uh, in the top prospects tournament along with the boys. And uh, from from those appearances, uh, Donovan Dijak, who a former winner of the top prospects tournament, um, Matt Taven, former t- t- TV champion, current six, uh, six-man tag champion, a lot of people have really launched their careers uh, from the Top Prospects Tournament. So if you if you go back through uh, not just the winners but the participants, um, Jason the Gift Kincaid, who uh, made his appearance in last year's tournament, and uh, he's been popping up a couple times here, not just uh, on Ring of Honor, but he's seen a, a, a surge in his uh, independent wrestling career as well. So looking forward to it. Uh, the field is filled with with really incredible talent. Uh, there's a lot of people who uh, either I was uh, familiar with by firsthand knowledge or knew by reputation. And the people I didn't, uh, I've been studying up on, and they're all, all, all excellent talent. So I've got a, uh, I got a tough road ahead of me, but um, I didn't come this far just to come this far. And for this to be you know happening in your hometown here in Pittsburgh, yes, um, second time at Stage AE, and it was a great experience seeing it in a nice new venue like that last mm-hmm. time that they were in. And this is actually going to be a TV ta- TV taping as well. Yes, this will be uh, the name of the uh, show is Steel City Excellence, and they'll be taping uh, three or four weeks. I want to say four, don't but don't take my word for it. They're going to tape uh, a couple weeks of television uh, at Stage AE. The last time at Stage E was. Absolutely incredible. I think Ring of Honor finally found the <clears throat> venue that really serves them the best in the Pittsburgh area because they've they've uh, been to a couple places. There there was a couple at the oh god Ross Draver was that Ross Draver Ice Garden they did Cal U they Cal where, which U. was same venue that where Ring, uh, Renegade Wrestling Alliance did a salute to the troops a couple of times a few years ago. Yeah, uh, so they tried the uh, but I mean you know. Uh, Ross Draver, the the venue with the ice rink was just uh, uh, you know not conducive in, in to the television. middle of winter. <laughs> in the middle of winter, 
Um, Huge area. And they also, uh, West Virginia, they had had uh, uh, yes, tapings there. West Bank Arena. Which was, um, I thought, really well, had a good energy to it. But, oh, yeah. but again, large place. And then there's probably not not, not as conducive to keeping didn't that they try crowd it, Didn't they try it at a court time at one point? They did a court time. This was the pre uh, Sinclair era. Mm-hmm. They ha- they did uh, do a show at uh, at court time, um, which I believe was actually one of um, at the time Brian Danielson's one of his final appearances before he got signed to uh, WWE. Uh, I'd have to go back and check on that, but um, I think Stage AE. Uh, you know, they they tried a couple venues, and I think Stage AE was the perfect venue for ring of honor last time that place was rocking there there was a uh, a lot of really good matches really good energy there um and i think that the the venue's perfect for uh for a big show especially with the uh, top prospects tournament so definitely um so yeah it, it's it's really cool to see that and, and and me going back to my idea that i want wrestling downtown Yes. Right, I want wrestling in Pittsburgh, mm-hmm. and it's great to see that that's happening uh, with Ring of Honor and something like this. Mm-hmm. Oh, they did uh, Convention Center one time. Yes, they did. That was that Royal was, Rumble weekend. That was Royal Rumble yeah. weekend. That was a great. That was a great venue. I actually uh, was lucky enough to be on that show on Rumble weekend. But I think that just the size of that hall, mm-hmm. uh, they they packed it, but they packed it for Rumble weekend. Right. So, of course. Um, I think that just the and and plus. It wasn't like that was an arena. That was one of those big convention halls where it's just flat. Yeah, it, you know, in for for a mile in every direction. So, not the not, not great when you're like ten rows behind to, and people to see are over and people everybody. are standing on their chairs yeah. and throwing yeah. streamers. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I mean, like I'm 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 one that goes and I usually just get general mission and I can mm-hmm. see everything. I'm fine. Don't have to deal with a lot of that stuff. I just like watching the show. And um and and I love that especially last time at Stage AE. You know, mm-hmm. it was like we got to like go up on the balcony and watch down from there. Mm-hmm. Uh yeah. And this was like you know I'm in the last row and it's just kind of rough to watch. There is not way. a bad seat in Stage AE. No, absolutely not. The way the way it pours down, it it, it and it's a concert venue. And uh, NXT was there. And NXT, yeah, NXT was a good, that was a great venue for NXT too. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was um, it was shortly after the London. I want to say it was after the London takeover because <coughs> if I remember, that was Finn and uh, Joe was the mm-hmm. main event, mm-hmm. yeah. and they were kind of and they were kind of doing the rematches from uh, Takeover London. So I remember that night well. <laughs> that also that also leads to the night of me screaming at. Uh, Matt and Jen Carlin's down in front smart marks because (laughs) they, I was seated two rows behind them and they stood up and I just, I, you know, okay, I get it once. Cool. Show started. Everybody's excited. Two times. Finally, by the third time I'd lost my, I'd lost my self control. And I'm not sure, uh, Carlin's knew it was me until I said that. So Mm -hmm. I could tell you turn around. Who's this asshole? Who's, Oh, Hey, Chris. (laughs) Matt Carlin saved my life that night, though. <laughs> How did he save your life? This is an interesting story. I haven't heard. Oh, you you, you've no, you don't remember this? I got no, sick no. outside. <laughs> no, I don't. Outside? Yeah, I almost killed a tree. Uh, uh, killed a tree? Yeah, I threw up on a tree outside. <laughs> and then Matt ran back in really? to get paper towels for me. Really, really, uh, really enjoyed those $8 beers. No, I didn't drink anything. <laughs> Bobby's, not a, Bobby's not a drinker. <laughs> I'm not a drinker, no. And the, and the police come up with the security. They were like, uh, sir, is he okay? I'm like, I'm fine. Like, no, he's been on drugs. He's, he's, yeah. <laughs> he's, 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 he's a kickback. Like, you to, <laughs> you would have been arrested. You got to add too much purgatory. <laughs> <laughs> it's a story that'll get you every time. Yep. We have a lot going on in the Those chat room, shakes. of course, as we have certain guests. We get we get a, a cavalcade <laughs> of friends popping in there. Mm-hmm. Um, first of all, first of all, there's been a little bit of controversy in the local wrestling scene. Oh, um, because oh. one of the first, I think the first announced for the top prospects tournament was a kingpin. Yes, it was, but not our kingpin. No, it was <laughs> not. Uh, it was not IWC. Who, by kingpin. the way, yeah. is still snubbing me to come on this show. <laughs> Snub- I've been what? trying, McDowell, for weeks. McDowell, what are you doing, man? We got we got Santana doing? Diamonds coming for for the Valentine's episode next week because diamonds are forever. And <laughs> but I won't finish that. Uh, what's that? 
But so is bowling. Sir. But so is bowling. Exactly. <sighs> yeah, who doesn't so, love bowling? So, Kingpin, we're calling you out. You need no. to join us. The couch us. is very comfortable. There There's you plenty go. of room here. There so. you go. Um, also from chat, uh, let's see. I think I talked to you about this, Chris. We didn't. We never figured out um, uh, who who the old lady's uh, uh, grandmother was that uh, that that attended last time. I think it's not yours. No. We, had, we had a really weird experience last time about a very angry old lady in front uh in, in line for a ring of honor not no, but, no uh, my, we my. did confirm not for those curious not chris the russo's i think we talked about her on gold one time uh for those that are wondering about that so no, and can't, can't uh let's see that. will says i love this count miz <laughs> i think the did the hair going out didn't didn't end that no uh, well you didn't no. end that yeah uh, no no at least it's not happening at ring of honor right well, I, look that you can you pay your money you can chant whatever the hell you want but the you know <laughs> you can you know what call me whatever you want but hopefully in a couple months you'll be calling me the Ring of Honor World Television Champion. Boom! So. There you go. Yep. There you go. Look out for that. Um. So we also had another kind of uh, you had a little bit of confrontation with Bobby on on Bobby. On the Twitter you know, a little you, bit. you you came so close. You came so close to the beating of a lifetime. You almost it, punched me. It was it was one more <laughs> one more flip of that reset button, and I'm almost sure that you were gonna mm-hmm. be next. But of course Like it, I said, I had the, the other the alternate button here. Yes. That was easy. And I avoided it. For those not yes. aware, IWC has reloaded <laughs> and they where they have a, a reset button and uh you you had to defend your belt against somebody random, random opponent, a random decided opponent by, decided by the reset button, which we suspect it could have been anybody, could have been Bobby F J Town, could have been Sorg, it could have been, been me. Sorg. Actually, my, you were on there. You were my on graphic there. did pop up for one of the Super Indie matches. So, and of course, as you, we had a couple weeks ago, Dan Hooven, the photographer, was who actually involved, did get picked, who yes. did get picked, yes. and and got to hold the tag titles for a moment. Um, who was it saying could have been somebody a dinosaur? Somebody, somebody in the chat was uh, was was saying was very lucky that. Uh, uh, McChesney came out. Uh, John McChesney came out, or maybe Bobby would have gotten picked for that. That would have been yeah, what, what, an, an, an unstoppable, an unstoppable tag team. Could right you there. imagine Bobby F. J. Town and Dan Hooven against the frat? Started, oh, that would have been that would have been something. That would have been something. <laughs> I start, that would have been something. Yeah, I started a Twitter feud feud with the uh, fraternity too. You're just, just start. You're just start, you just stir you. the pot. You know, because eventually you, you have to come to the show. And when you have to come to the show, you have to convert, you know, the, Listen, these keyboard warriors, because I see people, all these keyboard warriors hey. who talking this nonsense about, well, you well, know. Hey, listen, half of the, half of the crew of the Wrestling Mayhem show has been blocked by Hulk Hogan, TN, people from <laughs> TNA. I mean. I'm not blocked by anyone that I'm aware of. Missy, am I blocked by anyone? Actually, I think Eric Bischoff unblocked me for some reason. Oh, good. Oh, oh good. Well, You're going to have a chat with him about that. that. And you know, but, but Riz, go, RJ City bad. still likes you. RJ, RJ, yeah, you still got RJ City. RJ City still likes you. No, so you're, RJ, RJ, I, I, have, I have that going for me. Is Kali, is Kali on Twitter? Yeah. Kali's on Twitter. I, if he's not, I should he be following him. Exist. So. <laughs> he knows you exist. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. He knows you exist? How does he know that? Uh, I don't know why. Do you tag him every time you do the the, the Great Kali Royal Rumble <laughs> Challenge on every your first place games? single time. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. I don't know. Nothing. Kali must not play games. Yeah. No, you, you think he appreciate that? I mean, I'm sure he wanted to I mean, beat the Rumble one year, right? What? At least once. At least, At least once. once. I, just, I, mean, I just have this vision of Riz please. getting getting the Kali Ultra Chop and just driving it right into the ground like a tent stake. And we're oh, hoping, gonna and we're hoping that's going to happen. The entire time, Gray Kali is coming to town, or at least Altoona. Yes, town ish. Yeah. And if we don't get a Altoona, picture, so yeah. born Altoona native. Yes. Um. Well, <laughs> well, Greg Holly is coming to your town, sir. God. Where? And some guy named Ray Mysterio. But Greg Holly is coming to your town. <laughs> Take my money. <laughs> <laughs> if we that. don't come away with a picture of yeah. just like him chopping Riz. Or 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 like putting, <laughs> or the hand, putting like, around the, his head, you know, or even one of those oh, like hand it. in hand things that you do to see how big no. it is. Like the picture, Riz, Riz, picture is- <laughs> Riz, Riz needs a moment. We made dreams come true last year when Bobby F J Town got to ask Rhino about yeah. the tricycle from his dream. Oh my god! And then scared and the it happened. Down. And got I w- turned I, down. I I've met Rhino on a couple occasions, and I would not. 
Like, I if I, if I excuse me, Mister Rhino, I have a question about a tricycle. I I wouldn't expect to survive <laughs> to the end of that conversation. I no, mean, I, I would just nice. I would die. I, I would. I asked him. I asked him to sign a picture for me that said, "Sorry about your tricycle." Because you know? <laughs> I had a dream that I, he pushed me off of it. He he gored me off of a tricycle and stole it. Ages, this and ages ago, this happened. It was ages. It was a long time he's ago. To, he's been just, telling. I feel like this is gonna be the next uh, episode of SmackDown Live. <laughs> yeah, but, but he, he, I asked him to sign it like that, and he's like, "I'm sorry, I can't do it," because his campaign was still going on then. He's like, "I don't know how that's gonna come back on." I, me. I think generally, so, so, somehow that him, would cost him his. Just yeah, tell him that it's okay. You were gonna vote for him. And then he's like, "What well, about a pick and spin?" I'm like, just, "Okay." Just say you're I, a dear, I, I just say I, you're from I, Dearborn, I Michigan. Think, you know, he should he should have you know Rhino. There there was a lot of uh, illegal voters. The Rhino should have won that seat. You know, absolutely. You know, voter fraud in Detroit. Water. Yes. What? <laughs> well, Detroit, every water. every buzzword about. This is a good one. You're Matt. getting you're getting notes handed to you. This yeah, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a better system we need to do for this next time. By the way, but but anyways, uh, Matt Mike's in the chat saying Riz, the picture that you need to do is the Bob Euchre Andre picture from WrestleMania Four. Oh, that's yeah. oh, I love that. That's a great of, idea. The picture of Riz and Kali is just going to be most of Kali's body and head, and, and, and just Riz's my, head. No, the top head. of Riz's head. There's an app where you can make uh, a pan- panoramic. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, sideways, sideways, yeah, sideways, sideways panoramic. panoramic. Do I need go. to get bring that's my three sixty camera in order to get everything in? <laughs> is that what's happening right now? Kali's just like bent over, like yeah, like the entire. Yeah, he already oh, has no. back problems, so <laughs> he's gonna. It's gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna it's circle. Gonna be... I'm gonna circle all the way back to Ring of Honor at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Three and a half Man, hours ago. Well, we'll right. see about that. Riz, uh, Riz in a in a Kali nerve hold. Uh, I'm go. sorry. The the, the the internet's blowing up over this right now. Should, do, so, uh, uh, yeah. do the ET finger touch thing. There you go. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyways, back to Ring of Honor. Wow. But uh, you know, so so I know that there's there's another into? kingpin in the tournament, Brian Malonis. So uh, there you go. From uh, oh wait, yeah, that's what we were talking about. Yes, from uh, from New England. <laughs> and uh, you know, I I think that if if uh, you know McDowell would like to defend his name and defend his honor, uh, you know, I know Brian Malonis is about four hundred and ten pounds, and you know. Uh, is 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 one of the scariest big men in the business today but you know what if you if you want that name if you want to protect that name you're gonna have to step up to the plate hashtag not my kingpin hashtag not my kingpin (laughs) you tell you tell brian malonis that we'll see what well i guess well you know i guess the kingpin brian is seems to just roll off the tongue Mm -hmm. so it's just it's just which uh brian kingpin you would you you support so man um mcdowell has swag there you go uh but there was a question actually in here from john sure. in the chat room and i feel like we may have addressed this last time you were on um but you you were uh, last year's uh night of superstars you've had some moments in this past year in IWC it's been, it's, yeah it's with been some pretty crazy. some big big people yeah let's say um Hey John, John is saying uh, at last year's IWC's night of superstars um how did you wrestle Tatanka without marking out who says I didn't? I mean, <laughs> There's that too. Uh, well, there, there truth was, of the matter you, is, and you had a great post afterwards about that when, experience. When I was when I was a kid, Tatanka was one of my favorite wrestlers. I remember mm-hmm. watching mm-hmm. WrestleMania Nine, mm-hmm. the match I wanted to see. I it wasn't that I wanted to see Bret Hart and Yokozuna. I didn't want to see Hulk Hogan and Bruce Briefcase versus Money Incorporated. I wanted to see Shawn Michaels and Tatanka because that had been a feud that had been building and building and building, and Tatanka. Had beat him in a tag match and had beat him in a non-title match, and little kid Chris Larusso was like, "By God, he's gonna beat, he's gonna win the Intercontinental Title." And uh, but uh, yeah, it was. And the thing, and I, I think I had said this to one of your compatriots who was running around with a camera uh, at Night of Superstars. He uh, he hadn't missed a beat. Mm-hmm. He was it, that was not you know, you know, limping to the ring to Tonka. He came off the top rope with the. The tomahawk chop. It was the. It was the, pretty much the same man. A little heavier, but that was pretty much the same man. Uh, in that ring, the war dance, the the all of it. Oh, sound. Speaking of the guy with the camera, he's rolling in here. 
<laughs> so uh, I uh, wore out my cassette tape of Tatanka's music when I was a kid. Oh yeah, just uh, playing Tatanka's theme. Over I love no, I love. You're right. That theme music was was awesome. I it was love the best. that theme music. Um, but anyways, uh, we, so yeah, go into that. Like we talked about, you know, uh, again, Bobby didn't get the reset button. I also <laughs> thankfully did not get the reset button being in the run. Uh, but you got, <laughs> sorry, the podcast dog is, somebody is, keeps hitting that sound effect. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but you did get Shane Douglas a franchise, another, another experience. And I think you said afterwards to me, uh, there's another one off the bucket list, right? Yeah. That was a, uh, you know, Pittsburgh, hold on. I'm. Sh- Did you give him some kibbles or something? What's going on? Like <laughs> he's so tiny, you can't grab him. That's a good point. So, trying to speak uh, over everybody. There you go. But anyway, um, but Shane, you know, you know, Pittsburgh has a great legacy of of world champions. Mm-hmm. I mean, starting with Bruno and you know with Kurt Angle, and and Shane is such such a huge part of not just ECW's history. Uh, not just wrestling, but but of Pittsburgh's wrestling history. Somebody who has always proudly represented the city and proudly represented Pittsburgh wrestling. And uh, you know, at, from one uh, from one guy with a big mouth from Pittsburgh to another, it was a uh, it, it was really awesome to to be in the ring with him. Especially as, and I think Shane even said this: his his in ring career is winding down. And uh, you know, uh, to know that I I had the opportunity to to share the ring with. Uh, not just a former world champion, but somebody who's meant so much to the history of professional wrestling. And uh, yeah, that was, that was a big one. And and I was impressed because you guys had one, it was a seeing Shane Douglas in a match for the super indie title kind of blows your mind a little bit. Right. Mm-hmm. And also like I've seen, I've seen Shane Douglas matches in the past years. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I'm not saying Shane's flowing, flowing in it or anything, but like he comes in, does a thing, goes around, gets hardcore, you know, whatever. And that's about it. But you guys had like, you know, kind of like the Tatanka thing. You guys had a competitive match. Mm-hmm. Like it was like a full on, you know, match. Like he was going. Yeah. And, uh, and, and Shane, I think, you know, you, you see sometimes where I got to be careful about how I phrase this because I, it'll come across wrong if I do it. Um, sometimes people aren't necessarily phoning it in. Sometimes if depending on who your opponent is, that's right. Yeah. You have yeah. to adapt your style to your opponent. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes more okay. sense. That's a better way than I put it. Okay. Sure. Um, so but thankfully, um, I think, you know, and I don't want to speak for Shane, but I think uh Shane probably thought he could throw my ass around a little bit. And uh, you know, being such a, a longtime fan of the franchise, I I, I knew him pretty well. Mm-hmm. So I thought mm-hmm. that uh we had we had we had good chemistry. It was a uh, it was a blast, and you you were talking about mark out moments. There is a part of me when I was halfway in the air for the belly to belly, where I was like, "Boy, this is kind of cool." <laughs> <laughs> now the landing kind of sucked, but you know the we're like, "Wow, he won the world title with this move!" Oh, damn it! <laughs> and that's and that's how, right? <laughs> yeah. And of course, uh, Chris Jericho. I, mean, I think we've had you on since the Chris Jericho. No, you have, not. have we not? You have not had me. On I, since I, I, the I just chatted incident. with you a few times with it, but yeah. uh, again, the, the big surprise uh, coming in. Not that we will have it on video, but just plenty of pictures. Everyone out there. else in the ring knew what was going to happen, except for me. <laughs> Every <laughs> other person <laughs> in, in the in, ring. Backtracking. So, so Sam Adonis, who, who uh, Sam we Adonis ju- is we just uh, released- friends. Right, we just released the interview with him last week for Indie Mayhem Show, if you want to mm-hmm. check out him. But go, go ahead. Sam Adonis uh, is obviously the brother of Corey Graves, better known to some Pittsburgh wrestling fans, Sterling James Keenan. Um, and Corey and Jericho are, are friends. And uh, I think that they had hung out in Mexico at one point, and they when, when WWE was down in mm-hmm. Mexico, and you know Sam, of course, is working for CMLL right now. So they, so they had you know uh, become acquainted there. Jericho was in town for Steel City Con. Mm-hmm. You well, yes. I, yes. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm I wasn't sure the exact which one it was, but um, so he had been in town for Steel City Con. Few text messages, but hey, I'm in town. Hey, blah 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 blah. What was really funny was, um, I had been smartened up early, a, a little bit before he arrived. Hey, don't tell anybody, but Chris Jericho might be here tonight. So I was like, okay. And I got the message to let, uh, to 
tell them to let Jericho into the building, and there's the garage door in the back that with the button raises up. So I tell Shane in your face, Shane, go let uh, go let this guy in for the garage door. Shane doesn't know that on the other side of the door is Chris Jericho. <laughs> <laughs> So he hits the button thinking, you know, it's somebody's mom, you know, maybe a girlfriend, <laughs> you know, oh, this is somebody who's bringing a case of water or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. The door raises, and Jericho's there, scarf on, hands in the pockets, door raises. Hey, what's up? Just walks by, and the look on Shane's face. <laughs> the other That's kicker amazing. was, this was right before Team Storm versus Andrew Palace. Mm-hmm. Obviously, uh, the Team Storm guys have a ton of respect for Chris Jericho being trained. Uh, you know, Lance Storm and Chris Jericho are very close. And I can't remember who, but someone wanted to go. They, they are well, about. They, t- they teamed for the, the Thrillers. Um, yes. The, yeah. The, ah. No, uh, the Thrill Seekers. Thrill Seekers. Thank you. Um, right before Team Storm is about to hit the curtain, somebody almost went up to them and said, hey, Chris Jericho's here. And I was like, don't you dare. Like, like, don't tell them that right before. Hey, Chris Jericho's here, and then your music hits. Yeah. So, so that was both funny. So I thought, for me, I thought, okay, this is kind of cool. Chris Jericho's gonna be able to watch the match, and my thoughts ended there as far as like <laughs> what involvement Chris Jericho was gonna have on and, the evening. And, and also <laughs> interesting, uh, I remember talking to somebody afterwards because there was a fake out about Booker T's music early earlier in the, show, in the night, too, mm-hmm. which Booker T was again was at the same Meadville show we were talking about with the ta- the yep. Tonka. It was superstar, so there's a lot of big names that are usually there. And so there was like kind of a fake out thing with that. Mm-hmm. And then So we're we're in the ring. Um I think the ref knew. Um Dave Kitch knew. The announcer. Um BC knew, my uh my manager. So everyone so he goes, you know, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our special guest ring announcer. And you can see on my face on the tape, I literally go to Ben like the hell is he talking about? And then Jericho's music hits. And then there's a moment of, no, can't be. I mean, it, 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 it is, but it can't be. And I could tell the crowd had sort of a very similar vibe of like, mm-hmm. wait, no. Somebody stole Jericho's music. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what, what What midget did they dress up, you know, in, in, in a scarf? <laughs> Hornswoggle's back. You know, what 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 swerve is this gonna be? And then by God, Chris Jericho walks out into the court time, you know, court time sports center. The I just the place erupts. Oh my god. And the only the the only uh more mark out reaction from me, I think might have been Bradley Ruthers in the front row. <laughs> but he then talked. But he then topped it a month later when the T Rex came out. Yep. So that's true. <laughs> that's true. At least he didn't get the yep. T Rex. <laughs> yes. So you know, there you go. That would have been an awkward reset. Um, though. good point from uh, Matt in the chat room. Uh, what manager doesn't tell his uh, protege that Chris Jericho's in the belt? Well, no. Be- <laughs> it was funny. So when I, you know, a special guest ring announcer, I look at Ben. I'm like, "What the hell are you talking about?" He's like, "This is going to be big." What? He, still, he I don't know if he if he was working me or if he legitimately thought someone else had told me and was like trying to play play it coy. But, you know, I sure as hell didn't know that was going to happen. So. Shane, du- Shane Douglas, Chris Jericho, Tatanka, top prospects. It's been a I mean, I I've, I've been incredibly lucky and, you know, I've been almost uh, me. I'm sorry, what? Almost me. <laughs> Almost Bobby F. J. Town. I'm know. really lucky it wasn't Bobby F. J. Town. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Bobby F. J. Town might be in the top prospects tournament. Oh, good lord! No, no, um, bottom prospects no, it... tournament. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's it's been an amazing, I don't know, six to eight months of just because you know, in addition to all that, think about everything that went over the summer with the with the cage match and. You know, I, I just recently went down to the Monster Factory for their for their tag tournament. So it's been a crazy, crazy six months, and I've been and I've been very lucky and and very blessed to uh, to have these opportunities. Hopefully, I can make the most of them. That's awesome. So. Well, we'll be keeping out an eye out there, and again here in Pittsburgh, and uh, in the coming weeks on Ring of Honor TV for sure. So. Yeah.
you know, check out for that and uh make sure you guys um you know uh, uh support them on social media especially as the shows come out and everything mm-hmm. and let uh, ring of honor know that you're watching out for them let the mayhem nation know mm-hmm. uh so i would do want to touch base and and kind of roll through eliminate hey guys there's a pay-per-view this weekend it what? is this weekend i thought no, it was two weeks ago it is, we're no, 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 no. royal rumble already <laughs> happened yeah and we're now up to elimination. This chamber. weekend is elimination. This weekend is elimination. Oh chamber. my god! And then wow. two weeks after that's going to be fast lane, and then we'll have like you know a month ish. And then and then we're and then we're in mania. Season. We're, we're mania season. I'm surprised we haven't gotten the countdown yet. With, 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 with oh, we have the countdown. Oh, has there been a countdown? There has been a countdown. There has been. Oh, they even brought Flow Rider in <laughs> Florida, and with a special guest Pitbull. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Boy. Anyways, so we do have elimination <laughs> chamber going on. Um, and I know that's the USA app because I was watching this back down earlier. Hold on. Well, there's an elimination chamber we know with everybody in it. Um, this is, and I know everybody's thinking one way or another with this, but uh, you know, this is, we've seen them, especially with elimination chamber, really kind of change the direction going into WrestleMania in years past when this used to be a regular thing from year to year. Right. Um, so I don't think Cena's walking away from this one. No, I don't either. I, I hope not. If, if, we, if you have the same match that you just had tonight on SmackDown at WrestleMania, mm-hmm. that would be awkward. A little bit. A little bit. <clears throat> so, I mean, yeah, it uh, kind of destroys that. Yeah. Oh, but that was the first time on SmackDown, they said. SmackDown Live. On SmackDown Live. Yeah. I, I, oh, SmackDown Live, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so, they've they've had matches on SmackDown. Before. Yeah. Yeah. So, SmackDown. Give time for everything. SmackDown on <laughs> UPN. SmackDown on Sci-Fi. SmackDown on uh the uh, uh what else were they on? CW. CW. CW yeah. CW, yeah. CW in the meantime. Yeah. Um, Man, I brought back CW. UPN. Jeez. Bring up that oh UPN. God. That's right. And I love Star Trek Voyager. That's right. Star Trek Voyager <laughs> for the win. Come on. Yeah, I remember that. It was on UPN. Yes, it was. Yeah, it was. That was the there was the, 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 the we have uh, That's SmackDown. Where it began. That's where it began. Yeah. I cannot get over the notes. I'm sorry. You're just... <laughs> we're gonna, I told news. you. We're going to digitize this. Is like, this. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> this... <laughs> I see the chat. I just, I'm looking for places to bring them in. Uh, Tina. We have Mayhem ticker at the T- bottom of the screen. New new Patreoner, uh, Tina, was actually at SmackDown um, earlier oh. tonight. Just got in. And her voice is super sore when she was saying when she got into the chat room. Uh, thankfully, she doesn't have to yell at us. I don't know. Maybe she does yell at us over there. So she was commenting about the fact that the crowd was deafening for tonight's SmackDown going into the pay-per-view this coming weekend. Well, there you go. That's fantastic. Well, there you go. Wait, she just got back. Did did she not stick around for 205 Live? Ooh. What? (laughs) No. She missed out. Now everybody's judging you. That's okay. Uh, uh, Larry's got you covered. She missed out. She missed out. (laughs) Did we get, did did we have a a Kira Tozawa on this week? Um, I'm a big fan of Kira Tozawa. He's on Raw, so... did you scream at things I don't, like I don't want to give away spoilers. Oh, okay, okay. Um, but he is mentioned, and there was a pleasant surprise. <laughs> so it's worth watching. I want you um, to give. I want you to give the non-spoilers to, to wrestling shows from now on. Yeah. There was a thing. There was a and thing, and, and it, it was, was enjoyable. <laughs> not, not even just the wrestling shows. Did you I watch just, the Royal Rumble? Shows. Because I could go through that for you. The what? The wait, wait, wait. Okay, I kind of want your interpretation of the Royal um, Rumble. People entered the ring and went over the rope. And then we're golf started back room? to the ring and went over the rope. <laughs> and then someone won. But which rope though? The rope. Man, you get no, you know, no, 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 that's a spoiler. That's, that's you, no, don't don't don't, don't be that spoiler. specific. The rope. I think he's getting his own podcast. Things <laughs> that happen. <laughs> To be fair, I need a, we- be- I need a weather channel board. To be fair, uh, uh, Tina. <laughs> the weather's going to change on and off for a long, long time. <laughs> it's going to snow, <laughs> and then it's going to rain. It's going to rain, eventually. And then it's going to snow. Eventually, but, but sun will come to out. To justify, so we're, we, so we're not so hard on her, Tina does have an eight-year-old that has school tomorrow. So okay. I think. Oh, oh okay. That's okay. Yeah. Neville does not understand. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that's probably accurate. Third person no, no, no. <laughs> are, are you the king of the cruiserweights? I don't feel that goblinish. Mm. <laughs> I was gonna make a joke about two hundred five pounds, but I mean, I don't know no. you that well, so. No, <laughs> hey, oh. <laughs> well, there you go. Um, <laughs> so there's a new batch of people in the elimination chamber. Supposedly, they're saying tonight there is a new elimination chamber. 
So, oh, really? Wait a minute, like the, the chamber itself? Like the chamber itself has apparently been oh. upgraded. Maybe there's two stories. Probably also, wouldn't that be great? <laughs> wouldn't that be amazing? Does that, do, do you remember, do you remember the three-tiered cage again? Oh, oh God, yeah. Jesus Only Christ. instead of floors, there's tables. Do you remember <laughs> the elimination chamber where I think it was Mark Henry burst out too soon? Where yeah. someone got, yes. got thrown in, Mark Henry stepped out, stepped back in, and then realized... Fuck it, and just entered the match. <laughs> he just came out, yeah. Like well, I gotta play by and the imme- rules, right? Well, the other thing that was that was funny was immediately before that they were putting over. This is bulletproof glass; it cannot be broken by any force whatsoever. <laughs> Bang! Well, you've seen. I'm you've the strongest seen, man in the world. <laughs> you've seen this has happened even at IWC. Like the cage matches where, like, the door is obviously broken, uh-huh. but we're holding it closed as if it's still a barrier. You think? Them. No, you think that's bad? I've been to independent shows where there's people outside holding the cage up. <laughs> Oh my god. It's it's a lumberjack cage match. <laughs> yes. Because because if one person hits it Because it's not freestanding. <laughs> because if someone be. hits that <laughs> they're gonna kill an entire section of the crowd. That happened yeah. at WrestleMania, didn't it, with Hell in the Cell? Weren't the refs holding that piece up until they went through it? Uh, I, I didn't know. I, I don't I don't one, remember but... that. I don't remember that specifically, but it, it wouldn't surprise but I mean I've seen indie shows <laughs> where the entire locker room has emptied to make sure that this cage doesn't kill the, doesn't kill someone in the crowd. Seth Rollins was almost stabbed by the Hell in a Cell. Oh, yeah. they had the spike! The spike. I remember <laughs> yeah. that! Yeah, yeah. That yeah. was scary. That time Seth Rollins almost died on, on live TV. Um, <laughs> There's a delay. Aside from that, yeah, aside, somebody hit the button. Back um, to back to elimination. Back chamber. to elimination chamber. But generally, I I think that, like between this, you got AJ Styles, you got Miz is always great in this. Bray mm-hmm. Wyatt's going to do yeah, something yeah. creepy. Uh, Dean Borden. Uh, I have this horrible thing all night. I've been calling him Corbin Dallas in my head, and and I almost tweeted it earlier today. <laughs> and I was Dallas. like, why doesn't Corbin Dallas have a Twitter account and it's not verified? <laughs> And and sorry, Baron Corbin. Um, but uh, hey, uh, he probably doesn't care. He, spoiler alert for SmackDown tonight. He picked up a big win tonight. Yes, he did. Yes, Absolutely, he did. that was amazing. Absolutely. So uh, good, good stuff there. I, I think it's going to be a fun one. I, I, who you guys? Who do you want to win? Real quick down the line. I think they're going to do um, Bray and Orton at. Yeah. I, mean, I think that's what a lot I of think, us are kind yeah, of selling I think on, that's right? Where they're going. Who do you want to win? <coughs> Bray. Bray? Bray. You going yeah. Bray? I mean, Bray you know what? I, the, a match I'd, I'd just like to see. I'd like to see AJ take take the title back and AJ and Orton, but I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. So. And, um, yeah. Yeah, that could be fun. But AJ and Orton, I imagine there could be an RKO out of nowhere that would just blow our minds. Yeah. yeah. So. Bobby, yeah. Bobby, you said uh, you're going with Bray? Yeah, Bray. He deserves it. Yeah, I'm going with he's that. Been, I'm going with that. He's been um, the title for a while. I would go Miz. Yeah, Ooh. I'd like to see him. I think too. I think the way he's I, and I know we're we're probably aiming for him him and Daniel doing something, but um, but I think him finally after all this time and everything's against me and everything like that. Like, remember how great he was with the Intercontinental title? Yes, to absolutely. to roll yeah. on and now he's that Miz. With the chip on his shoulder because he got the main, he got the WrestleMania spot before, but mm. you know it was really kind of Rock's mania. Um, like to to go at it again, I think would be great. So, yeah. um, other than that, we got two women's matches. We had a double contract signing tonight. <laughs> it was pretty oh great. That <laughs> signed two contracts at one time, right? <laughs> right, Larry. And it was, <laughs> it so. was going so well. Yeah, yeah, and absolutely. They were nonviolent, <clears throat> and they almost settled their their the the. They almost had them. Why can't people settle their well, the feuds through discourse? If gentlemen, gentlemanly Jack Gallagher can't do a contract signing without getting into a fight, no one can. I know. Bobby, what would you rather have seen? Would you rather have seen me and Palace sit down and talk things out or me come off the top yes, of the cage? I offered yes. to do that for you guys. I would not expect <laughs> anyone to talk it out, so that would be a fun surprise. Once. <laughs> Oh, and, then, and then go off the cage. Shelby. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm catching up with the chat, and I was reminded on indie shows the time that we had to move the show outside in Newell, West Virginia, thanks to Billy, because uh, they couldn't fit the cage in the. In oh, the- I remember that. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. were you saying about that? Um, I don't know if I ever disclosed this, but this guy, like towards the end of the show, I think around intermission when they were putting up the cage, and he's like, "Actually, I went back and measured it. I think we could have fit it in." <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> yeah, I'm just—I know I like—I was like, don't tell anybody that. 
Yeah. Don't. This is between you and me. Do not tell anybody that at this point, um, because it was a pretty miserable day. So. And now that man's getting hunted down. <sighs> yes, as we speak. Uh, <laughs> Mad Mike. Mad Mike but, saying, uh, "I love to see Miz win anyway, but uh, Cena and Ambrose on that elimination chamber." So, I would be okay with Ambrose. You mean yeah? Because that that's kind of his style of match. Mm-hmm. That's like his element. Yeah, that, that's his element. Like he even said it mm-hmm. tonight too. Match. It is that's his style. Like I, I I'm I'm kind of not okay with John Cena, but if he wins, fine, that's fine. I don't care. But it, it will be something different. So I'd be interested in pretty much anybody but Cena. We, we had we had, to, we had to rip the doors off of the Sons of Italy to squeeze the pieces of the cage in the in the Elwood City. <laughs> Sorry, that sounds about right. <laughs> I've, Anyways, I've seen I've seen cages. I've seen cages have to be. Um, where where doors have been removed, where fixtures yeah. in the building have been moved. I saw one where like a light was like pulled to the side, the cage was put up, and the light was like <laughs> like they were leaning against <laughs> an edge of the cage. I remember so. the one in Clearfield one time was dangerous close to the lights. But anyways, uh women's championship match, Alexa yeah, Bliss and- versus Naomi. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Women's wrestling. Um yes, they actually had a f- like great they stuff. A I think it'll be good. Uh, segment on talking smack with uh natalia and nikki that you guys need to watch yeah it, wait really wait wait, yeah. wait you're you're okay with that i'm okay with it you 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 dug really? that that exchange tonight that was, Hashtag Hashtag talking smack. It, that, that was oh awful. it's on talking smack okay i didn't see watch that part. talking smack watch talking smack um is it with three women's matches on the show yeah. three all the men are, and the and the yeah. title match isn't the top match <laughs> For me, anyways. Well, yeah, th- th- that you're looking forward to. Yeah, yeah, it- it's it- it's pretty amazing. Uh, Be- Becky and Mickey, uh, Natalia, Nick, and Natalia and Nikki. This is where I'm getting confused now <laughs> yeah, between <laughs> Nikki and Mickey on this stuff. Did you say Mickey and Mickey. <laughs> yeah, N- Nikki and Mickey because there's Nikki, Nikki versus Natalia and Mickey versus Becky. I thought you were saying the wrong one at first, uh, <laughs> and of course, Randy Orton and Luke Harper. I mean, it makes sense since um. All the guys are either in the cage or every tag team in a ta- in a, a championship turmoil turmoil match. I hate turmoil. Or in a, or in a tag team match. match. Wait, what's that? Or in a handicap match. Or in a handicap. Oh well, yeah, I forgot about that too. Uh, yeah. Dolph Ziggler is going to take on Kalisto and Apollo Crews finally. in a handicap match. Oh, finally, oh, you're He's saying finally, but finally. Finally. that 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 has been building for like two weeks too long. I don't think that's where it's, it was. It should have went though, but it's not even. They don't even have it on the um the listing just yet either. It's probably going to be a pre-show match. To be honest, probably, so. yeah, kickoff. Probably I mean, I, I even see one of these ladies' matches so. being a pre-show match. So, which again, kind of lends to pre-show matches don't, like I said, Royal Rumble, like the, it didn't separate the show <laughs> from the pre-show for me because a lot was happening with the pre-show sure. matches, right? Tag like, titles. I mean, I mean, we, you know, it's not really, being on the pre-show isn't like a demotion of any sort at this point, is no, it? I, I mean, not in my opinion. Not, uh, and, not, and I think that, you know, um, especially with WWE, like, um, you know, the idea of being like, well, this is on before the cameras are on. Well, the cameras now are pretty much always on. Right. Yeah. Right. So, um, and, and I think you even see that a little bit in Ring of Honor at times where, you know, even if a match maybe doesn't make the show, oh, YouTube exclusive, exclusive to the website, you know, right. special. Uh, the Women of Honor six woman tag yes. from Pittsburgh last year was, was all yes. over the internet. Uh, there was also, you know, like, um, one that I always th- thought was really interesting is the Monster Factory has the MF Live uh, title, which is defended on Facebook Live. So that title match always goes up on Facebook Live. So I, I thought that was a a unique, you know, sort of update of the television title. So I, you know, I don't think the, you know, the. <laughs> Sorry, I, I I couldn't. There's something weird happening with the pizza box over here off camera. Yeah, so that, that, don't don't right. worry about it. Okay. And the chat room is revolting because I won't talk about certain promotions on the show. Um, <laughs> but that's talk, for the indie show. Talk, so. I'll talk about anything. No, well, okay. <laughs> Maybe we'll do some for gold later. Fair. So, All right, fire but away. anyways, uh, anything else? I mean, anything else? Kind of catch you guys. I have elimination chamber going into this. I mean, I think it's going to be a fun show. I think it's going to mm-hmm. be a good Sunday. I mean, yeah, I don't think I don't think the quality like I was a little bit worried that once we started going to can I get you a hacksaw? To like, <laughs> I, 
Um, somebody, somebody is preparing, oh. preparing up here. <laughs> the the big board right now. Over, like, is it made out of a pizza box? Yes, yeah, it is made, made out of a pizza box. What gave you that? He's hacking the pizza box apart without dumping the rest of the pizza that's in it for for mayhem mania sword. later. Oh, um, yes. Where is that? from uh, from slice on broadway <laughs> good we'll go oh, into the bravo. ad slice on broadway.com our friends over there <laughs> thank you so much those guys supporting <laughs> pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza at slice on broadway.com it's where i go for my super bowl pizza don't be a part of the the american pizza uh, uh corporate machine go to your local pizza place like slice on broadway it's my new ad Form for that. Like that. So that's how you do a segue sword. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Says, Good job, hey, we Riz. need to move the F on because yes. somebody's hacking away their props for their later segment that needs to come up here. Can, so can this episode be called Can I Get You a Hacksaw? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right. On that note, next segment. We're gonna go and quell the oh, the oh, one, quell the chat room. Thing. Wait, wait, Bobby one more quick thing. I forgot to mention about we elimination. Made the chat, ad. So. I was a little bummed that the the tag team match isn't going to be in the elimination chamber. That's two pay per views in a row. They've turmoil. missed. Yeah, yeah. Big I'm still waiting for that. Oh. Good. They did that last year. I thought. The yeah, they, yeah, they crammed the new day. Tried it. They tried to cram the entire new day into a chamber <laughs> pod. Do you remember yeah. that? That would have. That awesome. was amazing. I'm still waiting for the uh, the eight man tag match. Where the eight man tag elimination match they have in the cage in the elimination chamber, you can do it in the game. Oh, <laughs> well but you then by all means, do it in real life. Well, by all means, let's just if we can do it in a video game, what's stopping us from bringing it to reality? So you you know. Know. I can throw you can throw someone off the top of the hell in the cell in the video game. So. While we're at it, why don't we only bring somebody out for the next in the Royal Rumble after um, one of the eight people in the ring has been eliminated? Mm-hmm. No, in the video game never. as well. Yeah, that's, that's right. Or, or or six in the case of the Royal Rumble Genesis game we were playing last week. But anyways, oh, so um, much fun, uh, big feature, three-on-three three tag matches. Woo! Um, anyways, uh, we'll be right back. Uh, here's a little message from our friend Shane Taylor. Uh, remind you to come uh, check out Ring of Honor. And uh, I'm not pointing at I'm pointing at the that's camera. John it's Hyde. okay. It's that's that's okay. I didn't know it was. And, and, he's not behind that's, me. And that's he's not where, behind me. And that's <laughs> Roman Reigns behind you. So uh, and Shawn Michaels. Uh, but, Watch out behind uh, you. I'm way more scared of Shane Taylor than of either of them. So. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Accurate. Uh, and we'll be right back with a big question and mayhem mania. Hey guys, Ring of Honor star Shane Taylor. Check out my interview on Indie Mayhem show. Check out Ring of Honor when we come. Uh, Back to Pittsburgh, February 11th at Stage AE, and come watch me, Shane Taylor, do what I do better than anybody else, and that's punch people in the face. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. All right, guys, Wrestling Mayhem Show. We got a few more voices in your head. Uh, here, of course, with us, of course, in the on the couch is Chris LaRusso, Ring of Honor's top prospect tournament participant. Watch out for that, especially here in Pittsburgh this Saturday at Stage AE. Matt, Mainstream Matt joins us, the the conductor of the Mayhem Mania. Say say something for the audio people, please. Chris yelled at me once at a live show. That's right. We did talk about that. <laughs> What? Producer Missy is in here as well, and on the line, of course, Bobby of J Town, the Riz, and Mad Mike, and of uh, Poughkeepsie, New York, and Rob joins us as well, uh, returning from Mayhem Mania. Tonight. Bobby, did you just do a Bobby Heenan like salute there? I you just mean? did something with my hands. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Did, like, there the, you go. The hand twirl. There you go. But anyways, uh, it is time for the big question. And Mike, you had something very particular for us this week. I did, Sorg. Um, now, now, I'm not sure if you guys were aware, but there was a football game on this weekend. What? <laughs> sports what? ball? Soccer? Yeah, sports ball. The you mean that thing say. that happened around the Lady Gaga concert? Uh, yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you for clarifying. Yeah, Um, but th- there was this one magical time. Back in the heyday of that, the Attitude Era, where instead of watching Aerosmith and in sync, you could go to the USA Network and you could watch Mick Foley and The Rock beat each other up in an empty arena match that was filmed probably before Raw one night. 
for the WWE Championship. So my big question is, let's say you didn't really want to watch Lady Gaga. What <laughs> match would you have liked to watch for Halftime Heat this year? And what announcer, because there's only one announcer in an empty arena match, who would be the announcer for the match? I like it. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. Riz got this. I'll take the uh, the easy one here and say Braun Strowman versus Sami Zayn. Wow. In an empty fun. arena, who's announcing? Who's announcing? Uh, Corey Graves. Okay. Nice. Nice. I like it. I dig it. I like it. Bobby, you got one? Yeah, I got one. Um, uh, I want, I would, I'm thinking a little on the lines of Riz here. Um, mine would be uh, Roman Reigns versus. <laughs> yeah, uh, Roman Reigns versus Braun Strowman. <laughs> if you couldn't tell what that <laughs> screaming was. <laughs> uh, with Mario Ronaldo in commentary, even though he's on SmackDown. Okay, I dig it. I dig it. Uh, Mike, what about you? Oh, man. Uh, you know, mine was actually going to be Braun versus Roman, but I uh, will come up with a new one real quick. I'll say, eh, just because it's halftime heat and it's special, AJ Styles versus Samoa Joe with, um, let's throw Austin Aries on commentary. Ooh, Ooh there you go. <laughs> You can interview the winner. I was waiting for to say uh, Mike Tanay. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually was just going to watch Unbreakable 2005. <laughs> there we go. Mainstream Matt, you have one? Uh, yeah, I actually, um, I, I think I have got a good philosophy on this too. I think you need um, at least one wrestler who's very chatty and talkative in while he's in the ring. So that you know, there's some noise. Well, instead of just <clears throat> oh. oh, so I want I want Kevin Owens because he never shuts up during a match. Yeah. And uh, if you're gonna try and to you drop hear everything, what's yeah? So yeah, you basically get to hear everything Owens says. And, and if you're gonna go against Lady Gaga, you're gonna need some star power. <laughs> so I will book Kevin Owens versus John Cena for halftime heat. And uh, I will also choose Corey Graves to call the match. But I will instruct Graves to pretend that tom phillips is there the entire time but just keep telling him to shut up so okay, okay. i like it chris what about you I've, i'm gonna go a little bit outside the box because i have a similar philosophy you need some people who are chatty you need some people who have a, a a capacity for thinking outside the box and being absolutely ridiculous uh you need some people who can not just perform but you also need a little bit of humor so one time only in a six-man tag team match the new day Versus Gallows, Gunn, and AJ Styles, the club. Ooh. Mauro Ronaldo on commentary, and it will go all over the building. And can you imagine Gallows and Gunn with the ability to just do whatever the hell they wanted and say whatever they wanted? <laughs> Definitely going to need the five-second delay for that. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, nerds. <laughs> <laughs> I was Hoot. so busy traffic hopping, I forgot <laughs> to come up with one. Uh, I, think, I, I think I'm going to go with... Um, you know what? Just for fun, let's put JBL on camp commentary. <laughs> That's where I'm starting. That's where I'm starting. Oh boy! And then let's do um, let's do Gallagher versus. Uh, I saw I saw some peacups on there. Uh, Gallagher versus um, uh, Owens. Ooh. Ooh, I. Or do you just want Jack Gallagher to to float down from a high? altitude of yes um, yes i think okay. so i think absolutely mary poppins style, mary poppins style. Lady, absolutely Lady Gaga style. Like, <laughs> uh so there you go um if there's anybody in the chat that has one oh uh oh, billy billy I've johnson wants so. jesse ventura on the mic and benoit versus owen hart mm. oh, <laughs> that, mm. that match is dead oh, oh. oh. tina has uh oh. seth seth versus samoa joe with marl on commentary i dig that i dig that um, <laughs> Tragar wants Mike McGurk announcing Chris LaRusso versus Bobby. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I, I remember Mike McGurk. I like Mike McGurk. There's been oh. we've been we've been we've been trying to get Mike McGurk on for about a year now. A bag of popcorn. <laughs> I, I think I would have Sasha versus Charlotte because oh, that's shit. literally the only thing they haven't done, and Charlotte <laughs> would win it back at Fastlane in time for Mania. Actually, Who, you who's know, announcing? Nikki 
Nikki versus oh, Natty would be good. David Otunga. David Otunga. Because <laughs> <laughs> he'd have something to do, and I'm sure it would feel, fulfill some sort of contractual thing that they've been avoiding. Wow. Um, right and right this oh. is a women's match. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are two ladies in this match. There are I'm two married to a woman. Wow. David Otunga. <laughs> All right. Did we miss anybody? I know there's a lot of you guys out there. So, Nikki for Snatty would be bad either. Yeah, thank you for Snatty. <laughs> there you go. Well, no, they've already like they went out in the concession stands and stuff like that. They did. They did. That yeah. flashed me back to the old like Kevin Sullivan, Chris Benoit stuff from back in the day <laughs> when they had a false count anywhere. Yeah, went into the ladies' room. Yeah. 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 That, that is that is some good yeah. stuff. Uh, that, that, now, that, now you got this but, chat room all riled up, probably, and they're gonna. No, go no, 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 no. They're so already, long. they're already riled up. Come on, it's, let's be is honest. This the, the, the match where Kevin Sullivan just beat himself up all, all around the, the arena. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, yeah, but against like the Fight Club style, you know? big blur. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, not Braun. Not what, Braun. What's the love We're affair with Braun Strowman? YouTube. It's like it's one unbelievable. Second. Just in general, everybody loves him now. It, yeah, when did this happen? It is like you can't like smile. He was a big, was a when, big stiff who couldn't wrestle anybody two months ago. Right. And now everyone's like, just, I want to see Braun versus the Undertaker. I want to see Braun versus. You John hear Cena. him scream, versus... and somebody's gonna get hurt. It's the music. It's the music. It's yeah. one one thing. It, and also, it also, might, what, it also might be giving him clean wins on Raw. Maybe yeah, maybe that helps. And and, and and just Braun. They haven't been like totally clowning him out or anything. And Braun yeah. talking is maybe the most scary thing you. you you could hear yeah like he sounds like he looks like and sounds like it's not like bobby lashley when it was like you know i look like a guy can grab like, hey guys you know it, it was like, like he sounds and looks and acts threatening he, he, he sounds like a slayer album cover he does he really does yeah. he sounds like somebody who is pit, like pitch stiffed he sounds like someone who got really angry when Duck Dynasty was canceled. <laughs> he probably was. All right, that's the big question for this week. Uh, if you have any answers on that, uh, John wants Chris LaRusso versus Ricky Steamboat with he- a healthy Heenan on commentary Ooh. in an empty arena match. We're yeah, going to need a time machine. Yeah. Does, yeah. does anyone remember when they did Halftime Heat the next year? Did they? I don't no. think they, they did. did. It was it was an interview with Austin. It was oh, like yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. went out and they like didn't... this literally all it was was a sit down interview. For like um, Billy months. Billy wants Eva Marie versus uh, uh, Emmalina. No <laughs> an, no announcer because both will no show. <laughs> oh. Hey, all right. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, it is time for the biggest the biggest oh. little event that we have from week to week. The big board is hitting the big mic. So I'm, I'm um, sorry. Hold on, I'm queuing up the graphics here. So explain real quick. Chris Russo is very curious what's happening here and explain what he got it. himself involved explain in. Explain it as so. you would to a child or Chris Russo. Um, okay, Chris. Oh. <laughs> oh, God, I gotta go. <laughs> That's the super indie champ you're talking to. I beg your pardon. We got okay. <laughs> you okay over there? So I got a lot of. There's a lot of energy coming off of them now, and I'm not okay. I'm a little distracted. All right. Okay. All so right, um, all right. So we got the. Right, this is for Mayhem you. Mania. Uh, basically, it's kind of like fantasy booking, except it's not, but actually, kind of is. Um, we're trying to create the best WrestleMania card possible within this present reality. So everyone you're operating with comes in their current contractual, physical, emotional state. You are essentially Vince McMahon with unlimited cash and zero self-control. So you are making the ultimate match and you could push the boundaries as far as is humanly possible within this realm of the whatever universe we're in right now. Which universe is this? Anyway, good job, guys. This is uh, uh, Mayhem (laughs) Mayhem 19. Okay, great. Thanks. I, I figured... Somebody would jump in with a comic book reference on that one. I said 616. Um, <laughs> um, so um, we're going to make five changes to this card that we have right here. You're going to be able to like either switch guys from one to one, or you can get rid of a match and bring in a different match um, using completely different guys. Or you can just simply add an extra tag team or an extra person to a match. Um, and basically, every change has to be basically one for one. Yeah, basically one right. for one. Unless you're um, completely replacing a match. But feel free to uh, think outside the box. Um, I think that'll become apparent as you see the first few moves going. Um, I'll let you know what order people are going to go in, and then we'll recap the card, Sorg. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, tonight's players will be uh, first will be Mad Mike, and then it'll be Sorg, and then it's going to be Rob Brown, followed by Riz and Chris. You will bat cleanup. All right, as is tradition for the newcomers, they can figure out just how weird it's going to get. Mm-hmm. Um, so Sorg, mm-hmm. um, let's uh, run down the card here. Uh, first, we have Brock Lesnar versus Kevin Owens, created by the IWC Rookie of the Year, Jackson Argus. Oh, good Lord. Yeah, he was a pretty good one. Um, next, we have AJ Styles versus Finn Balor, created by Bobby F. J. Town. We have... Oh, this is oh this is interesting. Okay. John Cena and Nikki Bella versus The Miz and Maurice versus Rusev and Lana, created by Mad Mike. Sorg, hmm. just stay on this match for a second. I have to point out something. <laughs> For uh, people who listen to the uh, the dirt sheets, if you will, um, the Meltzer audio listeners, Cena and Nikki versus the Miz and Maurice is now a real live rumored match for WrestleMania. Oh wow! <laughs> so I just want to say to Vince, who's clearly listening to the show, you're welcome, and please feel free to add Rusev and Lana at any time in hey, the Vince. near future. And um, let's move on to the uh, next few matches here. I-, I just think that's amazing that we. We were like five weeks ahead. Uh, Bobby Roode versus Hideo Itami, which was created by uh, Missy. We have a three-way tag team match. The American Alpha versus the Kings of Wrestling, Cesaro and uh, Cassius Ono versus oh, okay. The right, Revival. Uh, that's also created by Bobby F. J. Town. I like that. Uh, next, this is the one that Larry's embarrassed by, and <laughs> he, I do he, not know he, why. He left the studio, He's by the way. He left to make in sure. shame because he doesn't think anybody likes this match. This is amazing. It's Braun Strowman versus James Ellsworth. We uh, Next, we have Jack Gallagher versus Pete Dunne, created by Rob Brown last week. And finally, Bray Wyatt versus Bo Dallas, which was created mm. last week by Burt Legrand. So those are your eight matches. As you can see, we got a lot of work to do to uh, optimize this card to its full potential. So let's get started with Mad Mike and uh, Sorg, you're on deck. So, uh, All right. Mike, what you got? Matt, I have a question first. Go ahead. Is Seth Rollins in play? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Uh, then I am going to take out that uh, Braun and, and James Ellsworth match. The whole oh. thing? Oh. We're taking it out. You We're taking it out. No, 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 no. We're taking it out. I don't have a sad Braun video. Oh. Just, just, Bobby, Bobby, just bring up his Tinder profile. Oh. Oh. I'm play it backwards. That only brings smile and joy. <laughs> but uh, we're going to replace it with a six-man tag. Hmm. The Shield versus the New Day. Okay. okay. All right. Reunited Shield versus a strong top of their game new day. Wow, I'm amazed I think that we try this every week, every year. <laughs> that we do. <laughs> God damn it, it's gonna work one of these fucking years. There I would have done the club, but AJ's already booked. Yeah, it's always very tricky. Um, all right. I don't know why you oh, killed that beautiful me. match. Sorg, you're up. This is me. Rob Ever. Brown, you're on deck. I was I was considering yep. his thing. I'm gonna take all right, right off the bat, I'm taking out Hideo Tommy. No. Just Hideo Itami? Yeah, just Hideo Itami. I just, I haven't figured out who, but I, I just, I just, somebody, I, I just, I'm not excited about Hideo at this point. Sorry, okay. that's probably He's, He's never fault. around long enough for us to get excited about him. Go, you know? go, no, Hideo. No, 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 no. So I'm going to enhance that match. Let's see. We got Glorious. We got, mm, 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 mm. Who, who is not, who's left on here? That we we have not is um put, put Eric Young there, Sork. Ooh, <laughs> oh, oh yeah, we do, we want we want to really we live. More are, are, are we booking a Mayhem Mania? Were you booking a Mayhem Victory Road? What are we doing here? Well, yeah, on. exactly. <laughs> um, it's Slam Anniversary to you. Bound for glorious. <laughs> <laughs> Why hasn't anyone oh, thought of that? Perfect. Make that shirt. Oh, oh my god! It's all to the TNA marks and the. WWE guys. All let's right. see what he can do. Let's, let's see what he can do with the lone wolf. Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin. Let's All put right. him in yeah, there. Let's yeah, I was going to let you say it because I was going to say Corbin Dallas again. Corbin Dallas. <laughs> multi-pass? Yeah. Yeah. In a multi-pass on a pool match. <laughs> it's going to be. I don't know. I, I, I'm kind of interested in that idea. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Bobby can get it done. Bobby Roode versus... Um, uh, Baron Corbin, Corbin Dallas. Yeah. Baron, I mean, Baron Corbin. Baron, yeah. Baron Corbin Dallas. Got now it. you put that in my head. Now I'm going to start doing uh, it. Every time, right? Like mispronouncing Finn Balor. All right. Uh, Rob Brown, you are up. Riz, you are on okay. deck. 
I think, uh, just to kind of make it even more ridiculous, and I'm, I'm surprised it hasn't been added yet, um, have, okay, John Cena and Nikki versus Marie, Miz and Maurice versus Rusev and Lana. I'm going to throw in Triple H and Steph. <laughs> <laughs> I approve. Damn it! Yeah. All the couples. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's going to that's gonna be a bitch when one of the girls tags in and all of them have to get out. <laughs> well, no, we... we in Patreon, the bank, someone can make that an intergen- intergender match. I gotta oh, say, say, tornado match. I gotta Patreon say, in the bank. <laughs> Patreon in the bank is there like a briefcase hanging above with a you know a hot dog and a handshake. Also, the more I look at this graphic, it's not too late to set up that Patreon account. The more right? I look at this graphic, the more I think this is going to be a Dancing with the Stars match. Yeah. <laughs> it is kind of look. How does that? Oh my god! I, you're it, right. Yeah, like Between Maurice and Lana, like, yeah, yeah. That's that's a little much. Uh, anyways, who's next? <laughs> Riz, you're up. Chris, you're on deck. Okay. So, um, I'm going to take out the entire Jack Gallagher Pete Dunn match. <gasps> didn't you? No. Okay, you didn't. Okay. I did not make that match. No, I know you were. Weren't you? Oh, you've been. You were the one trying to get Mustache Mountain into the. Okay. Yes, I was oh. trying to get Mustache Mountain in there. But somehow the revival got in there, and I, I'm not happy about that. Then you, sir, have not seen enough revival matches. All right, go on, Riz. So, I'm going to use. Let's see. So, let me see. The, can I see that card one more time? Like, really up close? You should, you you should really get right in there. Riz. You're right in I there. Really... <laughs> if you stare okay. at it long enough, you see a sailboat. Yeah. All right. <laughs> when, Lord, when? <laughs> I'm going to see the fucking sailboat. Okay. So. Eric Young. You are. Versus. Are you eating? Wait a minute. Are you eating while you're doing this? No. No. <laughs> you just you just lip smack when you're when you're thinking. Is that what's happening? Yes. Hmm. Only when he's thinking of Eric he's Young. He's Hardy Crouch Jr. <laughs> so, Eric Young. Mm-hmm. Of Sanity. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. In a yeah. suit. Whatever. <laughs> we watch the product. Yeah, I'm, I'm on to it. Yeah, we... Okay, good. We, we, are, know, we, are, we watch the current product. <laughs> Eric Young and Nikki Cross. I'm going to okay. do this right now. Oh, Eric Young God. and Nikki Cross versus... <laughs> Oh god! Rider and Emily. Oh no, no, okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on, I gotta stop you right there. No, I gotta stop you right there. Rider is injured. I thought you were Rider is injured. The the match with all the couples. Who knows where Emelina is? And Ty Dillinger and Emelina. Emelina is when dinosaurs roam the earth. Ty Dillinger and Emily. Ty Dillinger and Emelina. All right, all right. That's more like ten Alina. Are you sure you don't want to try? Kurt Hawkins to just kind of like trick people into thinking it's Zack Ryder. Nope. <laughs> oh, <Joe. laughs> nope. Very good. God, where did he? Nope. Where did he go already? Or why don't you just bring back <laughs> Wade Barrett and do Wade and Alicia Fox or Noam Dar and Alicia Fox? Oh, uh, so, you mean Alicia, Alicia, Alicia Fox? Fox. <laughs> no, I like mine better. You're the only one. <laughs> okay. All right, we'll see yeah, how that goes next. I, week. I can't wait till I have to make another move again. I got a great idea for a match. I just got it. Just <laughs> came to me. Poof, right there. Um, Chris, do you understand how the game works? I understand how the game works. Uh, I want to explain to you that there are there is an incentive for you to make a good match. Okay. Because if um if your match lasts three rounds without being changed or molested or altered in what? any way, mm-hmm. it's going to graduate Burst. into into permanence and it will no longer be able to be changed by anybody. <clears throat> and then you will get to come back and uh, we'll let you create a new match to take its place, and you'll get to hand out some sort of punishment to one of the other players and basically force an unwanted wrestler upon them that they will have to use. So hmm. okay. uh, I just wanted to plant that seed in your head so you're aware that there are I, I just two, a little bit of stakes. I have in your... two uh, matches that I want to make, but I can only make one move, right? That's right. You can only do one move. So, all right. Then what I'm going to do is... I know this one that we've seen it before, but we haven't seen it on this stage. Right. Finn Balor is going to hit the bench. Uh-huh. Ooh. Shinsuke uh-huh. Nakamura and AJ Styles at uh-huh. WrestleMania. All right. Well, that's yep. the original match I created, I think, wasn't it? No, maybe not. No, it uh, wasn't. 
Nakamura. That was the, that was the original it was match. Nak- it was Nakamura and Sammy. Oh, yeah, it wasn't. It was, I thought it was Nakamura, no, it was and, Nakamura and Hideo Itami. The yeah. point is, Nakamura is awesome, and AJ Styles is awesome, and when they get together, it's birds awesome. sing and magic happens, so... Solid I was move. I was just re- rewatching that Wrestle Kingdom match too the other day. Uh-huh. There's a wonderful Bullet Club playlist on on New Japan World for those of you out there with access to New Japan World, which I think is a lot of you now. Uh-huh. Uh, it, it's uh, it's definitely worthwhile and seeing some old uh, uh, Finn Finn ba- Balor. Well, it's Prince, De- it's Prince Devitt. It's Prince, Prince Devitt. Prince Devitt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's really interesting to see him in 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 that that mode. So. And the Definitely. one where they carry him out in the casket always, always is fun. Oh, yeah, that's so, so awesome. Same with Nakamura. Some old Naka- Nakamura matches, too. Yeah, with the strippers? With the stripper pole entrance? Oh, I didn't see this. Wait, I think I, I, think I saw entrance? it. I think I saw it the first time I saw Nakamura. I think it was the stripper pole. It was like Wrestle Kingdom 9 or something, wasn't it? Yeah. I think so. Se- feels Eight like. Eight or nine, one yeah. of those? I know, yeah. he came, I know he came out in a sequin ninja outfit for a... Um, I think it was a new be- uh, was a new beginning show or I'm not sure it was he came out in a sequined ninja outfit and even the the new Japan commentators were going well wait a minute if he's a ninja wouldn't the sequins make it easier to see him <laughs> <laughs> so they were They're struggling so they were struggling to find the logic in the outfit but hey you know, hey it's you not know. um I also shared I also had to share the DeLorean entrance for time splitters with a, uh, a friend of the show oh, that was Doug good. Durda uh, who is a huge huge Back to the Future fan. Uh, so I, I couldn't find the actual like a YouTube clip of the actual entrance. It was just that one where where they were um, when, when Global Force did the pay-per-view. Yes. And and they were talking about like the best time at. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, Wrestle Kingdom. So uh, so if anybody knows, it has a clip out there where I can I can share like the entire Time Splitters entrance would be good. So it'd be nice if you had New Japan World subscription. You could just right, go on but there I and can't find really it. share that. But 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 no, you know, absolutely, <laughs> I can go back and watch the whole thing, right? So what do we have now? What is the card? All right, look let's like? take a look at the card right now as it stands. We've got. <sighs> Sorry, there, Chris. Look out! <laughs> look out! Big um, boards in the way. Yeah, it's an extra big big board. Um, Brock Lesnar versus Kevin Owens, AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura. We now have a four way. Mixed tag team match. John Cena and Nikki Bella versus The Miz and Maurice versus Rusev and Lana versus Triple H and Stephanie. (laughs) (laughs) That's great. Uh, We have Bobby Roode versus Baron Corbin. The American Alpha versus The Kings of Wrestling versus The Revival. The Shield versus The New Day. Uh, Eric Young and Nikki Cross from Sanity versus Ty Dillinger and Emelina. And we have Bray Wyatt versus Bo Dallas. And uh, Sorg, I want to remind everybody. What? I think by the end of all this, this is going to look like WrestleMania 15, where there was like one straight one-on-one match the entire time. (laughs) (laughs) It it could get that way. That's that's an interesting. Holly Holly and Billy Gunn or something. (laughs) You know what? That's interesting. You bring that up, Rob. You know what? I will. uh, I will discuss that. um, I will discuss that situation on this week's episode of Talking Mayhem Mania. And uh, I will also um, I will let you know what uh, what may be done to address the issue of matches that are accumulating too much manpower. So we'll we'll talk about that, and we'll <laughs> discuss a we'll discuss the first match to graduate oh, on Talking Mayhem Mania. What but you got to do if you want to find do out? You know? mm-hmm. Do you know? Do you know? I do. You, you probably know. I do. You probably know. But people who've been paying attention probably already know by now too. Well, there you go. But I will reveal the graduated match. On Talking Mayhem Mania. Stay tuned with me and Wicket and whoever else shows up. So, there you go. Pointing dog. At? What? The, what? The dog? What are you pointing at? The people. I thought there. you were pointing over there. So The dog's over there. Oh, okay. There you go. All right, guys. Well, it's time of the it's the time of the show, the final segment, where we find out what did you learn from pro wrestling this week? Who wants to go first? My, my, Matt, Matt, you got it? I learned that on the 70,000th 629th attempt John Cena and Randy Orton still not happening <laughs> not happening for you <laughs> no. nope nope sorry nope kind Good of effort. passed it for you okay <laughs> all right uh what about you what about you Riz I learned that I missed an entire season of Chikara. of Chikara oh yeah the secret we filmed an entire season in Chikara and let's binge it thing mm-hmm. yeah and they're gonna do they were gonna release three episodes at a time. Yeah. Which is pretty weird. But it, like they, they showed 
the for pro, re- pro National Pro Wrestling Day. National so, Pro Wrestling Day. So what? is this, is it Ch- Chikara of Future Past or something? I don't know. <laughs> That's why I'm interested in watching this. I'm pre- yeah, I'm interested in that. Like that they they completely went kind of lucha underground and had. I presume there's people in the audience that they swore to secrecy. <laughs> Yeah. It, Wait like, a minute. <laughs> oh, and they you actually can't, respect you can't that? keep a wrestling fan's mouth shut with a gun to their face. How the hell did they Lucha keep Lucha <laughs> Underground? They do pretty well with well, it. Do, well, do they really? No, I mean, no they don't there do are well spoilers with that. all over the place. Know, it's it's like, like, just, you can't go. Radar. You can't go on the Wikipedia page for Lucha Underground and not, and not find spoiled. out who the heavyweight champion yeah, is. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. Because I didn't even. I mean, I didn't hear about the Shakara thing, so. Yeah, it's, it's complete. It's all in their Shakara Topia maybe, thing. Maybe they did it like beyond wrestling style, where it was all just like friends and family of the wrestlers from the Wrestle Factory <laughs> were the attended so they could film this thing, you know? So now, did they is, is it going to be like the old WWF shows where you see, you know, Bret Hart's giving his glasses away, and it's like years later, you know, it's it's Steph or Shane up in the front row there. <laughs> <laughs> was that risk? Where it's like, where, where it's like, oh, that's just Space Monkey's kid. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh. oh yeah, was that risk? I uh, know. I was, I was just saying, like, um, oh, I, mean, I forgot what I was going to say. It wasn't. Oh, uh, no. oh and it's gone. Mm-hmm. And it's gone. It's gone. Oh and... man. Uh, but anyways, uh, what about you, Bobby of J Town? What'd you learn this week? I learned the festival of friendship might be in a little bit of trouble. Dun dun dun. Because, uh, Brody Stevens, stand-up comedian, his CD or his album one year was titled "Festival of Friendship," and he said he was getting in touch with Zoom Legal to help him out with. The- <laughs> oh <laughs> oh Zoom no. Zoom. <laughs> I'm sure it was probably so. used as the title of an episode of Care yeah. Bears at some point too. But. <laughs> yeah, that's what I learned. Hmm. There you go. Uh, uh, just rolling around, Trey's in the chat room saying he learned that Jakara jacked up his road trip dreams of King of Trios this year by pushing yeah. by put, putting it in England. Thanks, Trump. <laughs> 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 there you go. Um, okay, that, that's all I got there right now. Uh, what about you, Mad Mike? I learned that Alexa Bliss may have cut my favorite promo of 2017. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, on, on SmackDown, she there during the double contract signing, which was amazing. Um, no, I really liked it. No, it was. Really there was some good it. promos. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. Alexa Bliss did not address Naomi the entire time. Was only talking to Becky Lynch. She put the she put the mic down, went to sign the contract, and just picked the mic up and said, "Oh, Naomi, I'm sorry, I forgot you were here. I'm gonna beat you on Sunday." And just put the <laughs> mic down. It was amazing. And then Naomi kicked her in the head. Well, yeah, but it was it was fantastic. It was absolutely fantastic. That's great, Rob. Uh, this week, I, I learned from wrestling that. Was it Lucha Underground? It's going to be on Netflix next week. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So oh, finally, finally, actually get to. I think I've seen one episode of it. About ever. time. So, so I'll be remembering that I have Netflix again. No, and, we have to remember the Rumble. Rob, that. Rob, yes. Rob, when you when you finish watching seasons one and two, yeah. You must binge watch the first half of season three, and then th- you can come on the midweek war with there us. There you go. I think I've actually, I may have seen like the first couple episodes of season three, and that's so that might have been the only stuff I've seen. So, wow. yeah, I'll, I'll probably try to figure out a way to. Well, well we cover. have like, you know, they have El Rey nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, it's problem. making it, yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to. And, it's and you're not getting new episodes find. until like. May or June, anyway. Time to so, catch up, well, Matt. You caught up. I did. So there's plenty of time to catch up. It's just yes. a matter of absolutely. Rob, Rob, I Rob, want you yeah. to contact me. Yeah. When <laughs> you are while you're watching while you're binge watching Lucha Underground season one, I want you to contact me the moment the words in your head appear. Oh my fucking god! What the hell is happening here? I just yeah, want you to just let me know when that moment it comes. One. No, 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 no. I'm a few episodes. It'll Rob, just you, be you some weird out of me. context, you know. <laughs> you, 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 you get yeah, a message. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That seems right. That seems right. You need uh, to live tweet it, Rob. Uh, update in my own runnings. I'm about an episode or two after Cage in a Cage. <laughs> cage in a Cage. Yeah. Cage in a Cage is great. Cage cage. I was, it, it was. It was. It was real good. It was real good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was. Some... <laughs> Wait, when the thing bounced and he caught it? When the kendo stick uh-huh. bounced in the air and he just snatched it. He just it snatches out of it out of the air. I'm like, like I was kind of like 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 kind of into it and kind of a little dozing because it was late at night when I get to watch these and I'm just like, what did that did 
Did he just? Did he? He's. It's amazing. I have no idea what's going on right now. He's. Yes. He's amazing. But anyways, uh, to the wait. Did I get you guys? No. Chris Larusso, what did you learn from wrestling this week? What I learned from wrestling this week is is that. Australians make amazing wrestling gear, and when you say rush it, they rush it. So I, <laughs> oh. had, I have brand new gear for the Top Prospects Tournament. Nice. The photo is up right now on uh, Instagram, Chris LaRusso on Instagram. But oh, here, you can you can take a peek. There you go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all yeah. right. So <laughs> I will have brand new threads uh, this Saturday for the Top Prospects Tournament. Uh, Zor, you mind if I plug the whole thing real quick, just to yeah, just to get it down? All right. So, and of course, my phone decides to be non-cooperative. All right, it is uh, Steel City Excellence Ring of Honor at Stage AE. Bell time is at uh, I believe they moved it back to seven thirty, but I think that there's going to be pre-show stuff starting at seven. So, so get there early. Yeah, get there early. Um, I have been informed tickets will probably sell out. So. Don't count on getting them at the door. If you got to get, you know, get them, uh, Stage A's website or ringofhonorwrestling.com. Some things you will see that night. In addition to Chris LaRusso. Uh, there you go. There's the gear. Oh, Brand man, new so gold gear. So in addition to the Top Prospects Tournament, uh, the main event that night, big eight-man tag team match. The Bullet Club of Adam Cole, the American Nightmare Cody, and the World Tag Team Champions, the Young Bucks, against Jay Lethal, Bobby Fish, and the Briscoes. Uh, Ring of Honor World Television title match, Marty Skrull versus Donovan Dijak. Ring of Honor World Six-Man Tag Team title match, The Kingdom of Matt Taven, TK O'Reilly, and Vinny Margellia versus The Rebellion of Kenny King, Rhett Titus, and Caprice Coleman. It, this is a match I really want to, I'm really looking forward to. In a no-disqualification tag team match, Punishment, Damian Martinez and BJ Whitmer versus War Machine. Uh, the Motor City Machine Guns versus the Tempora Boys also appearing... Christopher Daniels, Frankie Kazarian, Dalton Castle, and the boys, Leo Rush, Silas Young, the Beer City Bruiser, Cheeseburger, Will Ferrara, Coast to Coast, the Women of Honor, and of course, the heir apparent, Chris LaRusso. There you go. Go check it out. ROHWrestling.com. Get your tickets and or uh, probably the box office. Box stage office stage A is also the got I think they're ticket I think through Ticketmasters who they do their work. Okay. Is that uh, ROH does it through Ticketmaster, or at least they link through through okay. Ticketmaster. Okay. So, oh, I got some coupons with that. <laughs> so, well, you know, if you got it, not that you wouldn't pay full price for Ring of Honor, that no, you no, wouldn't. No, but no. that, but man, that Ticketmaster fee, come on. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> woo, box seats, seventy five dollars each, still available. Get them. Row one hundred eight, three and four. Move that to later. Okay. Uh, what did I learn this week? <laughs> I I learned. Um, you learned there was a match at RWA history where a sword came through a screen. That was yeah, I yeah, so, that. That's yeah. for sure. Um, of the many interesting, interesting things I bring up at um, um, RWA, I learned uh, Bobby Shields coming out to the Highlander theme is pretty amazing. <laughs> as I was editing his RWA match from this week, <laughs> you know I used to team with him. <laughs> yeah, he was my tag team part. Like in what, what, my first was year this in the like business. flex appeal era or no? This was before flex appeal. Oh this wow! Was, this, this was true talent, Bobby Shields. True talent, Bobby and Shields. True talent, Bobby Shields, and chaotic Chris Larusso. Uh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Yeah, whoa, whoa, real back. <laughs> you heard it. <laughs> I, I don't think I ever saw chaotic. Chris No, LaRusso. you never saw chaotic Chris Larusso. <laughs> that was. That was uh, and and God willing, no one will ever see Keanu oh, Chris. If anybody so. has that out there, please let us know. Please burn it. <laughs> right. Anyways, um, wow. To, from for, just to to wrap it up, from that to the heir apparent. Mm-hmm. Oh my! Mm-hmm. How, how things can change in a decade. Mm-hmm. So there you go. There you go. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, Chris LaRusso. Check out Chris LaRusso on Instagram and Twitter. Of course, he's out there on the Facebook as well. See him this weekend. Mainstream Matt at Mainstream Matt on the Twitters. Down in front. Doing things. <laughs> wait, oh, I got to do something real quick. <laughs> wait, wait, he's just going to... There, there, there we go. There we go. There you go. <laughs> He's standing in front of him and, and, and getting the dog going. Also with us at uh, the what's that? yikes, the, the Riz at the Riz on the Twitter. What's that? 
Say it loud. They e the e Riz on Twitter and Riz right. plays games on the YouTube. Bobby F J Town on and, the Twitter. And, oh, at Bobby F J Town. And what? IndieWrestling.us. IndieWrestling.us, where he does around the Indies column, um, including on T Rex. There, there you go. And also uh, the voices out there, Rob <laughs> Brown. Uh, I forget your Twitter. Yeah, so do I. I don't even really use it. <laughs> Uh, I used to you say, should use it when you live stream. Look for Twitter. Rob Rungside at IWC I, and RWA shows here and there coming yeah. to your town on camera. <laughs> and Mad Mike is at Mad Mike four eight eight three. He will be doing the midweek war. Is that big one happening this week? Yes, it is, Sorg. Um, we are going to have Lucha Underground co executive producer Krista Joseph on tomorrow night to talk all things Lucha Underground. It's the week we of the Chris's. Yeah. We're going to try and squeeze that grape for all the spoiler goodness we can. <laughs> he usually yeah. he doesn't tell us Jack, but we're sure as fuck going to try. At yeah. least he can say now that, yes, we are on Netflix, you know. <laughs> I know, yeah, exactly. Well, that's that's kind of the reason we're bringing him on. Yeah. Like, you know, who, who, I, I on? guarantee we'll ask him. First question will be, so Chris, you guys are on Netflix. And he'll be like, well, maybe, maybe not. And we'll be like, come on, man. Who was sitting next to me? I'm sorry, who was sitting next to me earlier the night? Uh, Larry. Uh, Larry. Larry. Yeah. Larry. I just like like Larry's spoilers. Well, <laughs> things happened. <laughs> and uh, events occurred. And there will be a guy with a mask and um, everyone's gonna have a good time. So, <laughs> usually, exactly. usually we do get like it's like sitting one next or to two David things. David yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of there's definitely a lot of uh, Kremlinology going on whenever he comes on the show that everybody pours over, just like the trailers, as as Matt has done in the past. <laughs> so there's that. So all right, guys, it's been a blast. Thank you so much. Follow everything on WrestlingMayhemShow.com um, on all of the uh, uh, Twitters and the uh, social medias and the streams and subscribe. Uh, thank you so much. We'll see you guys next time. Uh, Mayhem out. There you go. So I don't know if you noticed, but I've definitely been muting you guys because there's just too much going on. So, yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, oh, thank you so much, guys. Thank, thank you, you, everybody thank, in the chat hey, room. Thank you for having me. I know uh, there's a lot happening here, but thank you so much for everybody going nuts right. out there. Uh, Hooven says, here. "Knock them dead at ROH." Larusso. Yes. Good luck, sir. Yeah, everybody, good luck, get your tickets. Good. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up my GA ticket tonight. Yeah, for, I got uh, mine, like last week. Yeah, <laughs> did, did you get it? Is anybody else going to NXT I in Ohio? Uh, I just could not go out on live, but I do. <laughs> We're still live. We're still live. Hold on, hold on for that moment. All right, we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.